All right, everyone, welcome to the first video in the C Sharp tutorial series. So this is going to be basically a crash course style series, which means we're not going to be going too in-depth as to uh, the explanations as to what's going on, but we're going to be taking a look at C Sharp and learning how it works by example. Now, uh, it is definitely recommended that you view the previous C++ video tutorial series before viewing this, because the syntax is pretty much exactly the same as it is in C++. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start a Visual C Sharp project. So I select File, New, Project. Of course, there also is a shortcut where you can do Control, Shift, N. We'll select this. Okay, so now we're taking a look at this dialog window here. You can see on the left side we have the different visual programming environments here as Visual Basic, C Sharp, J Sharp, C++. We're taking a look here at the visual, C Sharp, and if we expand this, we can see that we have different selections as to the kind of application we can develop. So if we select on Windows, we can look over here on the right hand side, we're given an option of different templates that we can use. Since you and I are more interested in doing the hardcore style of programming, we'll click here on the empty project, which means it won't generate any code for us, and then down here under the name, we will call it Welcome to C sharp and then we'll select OK. Alright, looks like we're ready to go now. We take a look here on the right hand side, we see that there isn't any source files that have been generated for us. So since we chose to do an empty project, we're going to have to create our own source file in order to start writing an application. So over here, where it says welcome to C sharp, if we right click our mouse button, we can slide down and we see that there's an option here that says add and there's also a selection here that says new item, so select this. When we get to the add new item dialog selection box, we see that we have a whole lot of things we can add to our project. We are interested in selecting this, a code file. And then down here we have the option of naming our code file, so we're going to call this welcome.cs. And then over here we will select the add button, and now we actually have a source file. So this empty blinking cursor right here is our source file. Now that we have the source file ready to go, we're going to program our very, very first C Sharp program. The very first line that we're going to add is the using command, and we're going to be using system. This is going to be defining the namespace that the rest of our program is going to basically assume. Since C Sharp is an object-oriented programming language, we're going to declare a class object, and we're going to call it welcome. So we'll call this class welcome. Then after this, we're going to open and close a pair of curly braces. So inside here, we're going to declare our main function. We're going to allow this to be public. And along with being public, it's going to be static. And it's going to be a void function, and we're going to call it main. Those of you that are familiar with C++ and possibly you know many other programming languages, this will look very familiar. So now we have the basic skeleton of a simple program. We can actually compile this and we can see how it will do nothing. But what's the fun in that? Why don't we just write out to the screen the word, the words, hello, welcome to C Sharp, or something along those lines. You can make it as creative or as uncreative as you would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to invoke the console class. The console class is the set of functions and variables and all that stuff that are going to communicate with the actual command terminal in Windows. So it's going to be console.writeline. And you can also see how Visual Studio is attempting to finish out my lines for me. And we're going to take a look at this kind of stuff a little bit later. So we have console.writeline. Now, writeline is going to be a function, and it's also going to end with a terminated semicolon. So console.writeline. Inside here, we just put simple quotation marks, and then we can just say, welcome to C sharp. Excellent. So those of you that are unfamiliar with the Visual Studio environment, in order to execute this program, we're going to have to do the following. Scroll your mouse up here to where it says debug. When we select this, we have a couple of options. The one that we're going to select is the start without debugging. Or those of you that are into shortcut keys, I being one of them, Control F5 is the shortcut to do this. So we'll select that. Excellent. We can see that we have a command terminal where it just prints the words, Welcome to C Sharp. Program this a couple of times, and we'll come back in another one, and we will learn some more about C Sharp.